Hey guys, welcome to another chess master video. Today I'm gonna play a 10 minute chess game. I'm gonna walk through my moves. I'm gonna talk about what's happening in my mind during those moves. First thing first, I'm gonna lower the computer uh, noise volume. Alright, so it's my opponent's move. They open, oh wow, that's a c3. Alright, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go for the center. So probably a d4 now. It's a definitely uncommon opening. Wow, okay. You know what? They're giving me the center, I'm taking it. I'm gonna protect my center pawns with my knight. So now they're preparing for this push. Hmm. It's gonna leave some holes in their position for sure. So let's go ahead and do this in case they push i take one and push the other one you always want to take one and push the other one and uh, that that feels like a mistake already how can i punish them i would like to keep pushing my boys but uh, overextending pounds is not the best i think i need to start getting my my big troops in the game bishops and knights so, knight jumping around, yeah, let's get that knight in the game. So far I've spent one minute thinking, they've spent like 23 seconds. Alright, um, what else? <coughs> Excuse me. Another knight in the game. I mean, so far for, for black I feel really good. Usually black pieces don't get such a, such freedom. All right, what's next? I was thinking about one of the pawn pushes. So I could push, they will close up one, right? And they will, so yeah. Or else I can still just slowly develop. Yeah, let's keep those guys like so for now. <coughs> okay. So as far as I think, now it's time for me to push. Yeah, I will definitely have space advantage. And if they push, so they do, I'm just gonna retreat with my bishop. But I gotta be careful after this, they could just try to run it down. I'm not sure if it works here. Yeah. Let's go back. So uh, it's already defended uh, the pawn on e5, but I could just add additional defender. Also, this would develop and prepare for castles. What else? <coughs> Maybe they want to hop in. I could just try to make that knight a little bit less active with this move. I think there's no rush for me to develop the bishop and castle. Also, I have a nice pocket for my bishop now. Well, of course, right now it's useful looking at the at the brick wall. So next, if they are castling on this side, I think I could actually go for some sacrifices. Yeah, just there is some things in my way. This looks fun. Maybe queen up. Let's go with queen. And this move I wouldn't like, but it achieves nothing, especially with my bishop still defending the guy. And I could also push this pawn. Alright, so they're coming down. Hmm. Well, if they push one more, I mean, I could, I could just go ahead and take it twice. It would be a sacrifice. Two pounds for a knight. Also, that would open up this side, so I wouldn't castle short. And castling long is a bit more dangerous. Since there is a blocked center, I might as well just leave my king in the middle, right? I can also make some room for my knight to retreat. Okay, for now, I think I'm just gonna stick with 
random development developing mode because if they push I can still take it they will take it back and uh, well, let's say my bishop is here then whenever I retreat my knight bishop will be on their knight <coughs> so let's stick with the plan All right, so the other knight wants to hop in over here, that's for sure. I'm not sure if castles would be the best idea now. I was thinking about uh, maybe queen up, knight back, and then start the opening stuff. Yeah, well, this one prevents a lot of night moves, so that's good. Yeah, our rating is not too high, so shouldn't be that bad. To be honest, it looks like they're making, well, maybe not, but they're making some computer moves. Or uh, the, they are really careful. Hmm. So what next? My bishop is useless. Actually, this move wasn't that good because if they would just jump with the knight, I might as well just take it. So maybe now here. Yeah, I wasted the move. I could have just done it with one. But uh, in a closed game, I I'm not sure if that's really important. So they got to take with either of the pawns. Mm -hmm. So what next? I'm gonna try to get my knight inside. And if they tap, if they capture, I think the best would be to take back with this guy. Oh, that's a good one. Well, I'm losing a pawn. Yeah, that's a discovery on my knight, so I have to take back because their knight is hitting my queen. But I'm gonna get a pawn with a check and then another pawn, so why not, right? Let's go, boys. If this guy moves, I'm getting stuff now for free. And you know, I like free stuff. This will be next. Then I'm hitting queen, I'm gonna take this guy and everything else, right? But you know, whenever there is a good move, I always look for a better move. So I'm gonna pause a little bit. I know I'm down on time a lot. But maybe there's something I can do. Well, I think pawn is a pawn, right? This, this would be also a move. So, keeping an eye on this guy. I'm gonna take pawn. Hopefully, my knight won't get trapped. <clears throat> Alright, so what next? The pawn push. Oh, this would be fun. So, threatening to fork king and queen. See this? Nasty, nasty knight. So, it doesn't help the fork. I could castle now. Probably not a good idea, but it uh, doesn't matter. Ah, okay, that gives up this guy. I don't want to give up that guy. Not yet. One, two, three, and finally you're free. Okay, this looks cool. This wins the queen for sure because it's gonna be discovery. It's like double check, not discovery, but double check. And they they just run off. All right, hitting the queen again maybe sounds like a good idea, and. Uh, I know I, I like to explain videos, uh, I mean, excuse me, my moves and take my time, but uh, it's about time that I kick it in the next year, because uh, 
uh, I'm running short on time again preparing for some discoveries like if I go here I still defend my bishop and it attack the queen <coughs> Uh, can I can I still play it? Okay, I'm gonna try it. Let's see what they do. Maybe they just save the bishop and you know don't see the threat. Because uh, it's 1400 player. All right, I'm, I'm, I can just take it. <coughs> oh, okay. I thought they will pile up on the, this guy, but they don't. So let's pin it, pin it to win it guys. I think uh, I should just get my king up and get the rook in the game. Um, can I? Why, why I didn't take it previously? I know nothing. Well, better later than never, right? Um, so castles? I don't care about this pawn right now. I can also insert the check quickly. Well, let's try it. Let's see, maybe the king goes somewhere. That uh, gives me a chance to check with the, with the knight. Not, not, not in this case, of course. But okay, I'm gonna jump up. We'll see what they do, they might check me now. I'm gonna sidestep. Alright. Sidestep it is. So, I should get rid of this guy. Because uh, it's quite scary right now. They're on my knight. Can I do something about it? Um, okay, I'm gonna take either of these pieces. I, I want to trade down, I'm plus 4 and I'm really down on time so I need to simplify the game as much as possible. And there we go, they just resigned. So, oh wow, they want another one. Not yet, because uh, I want to analyze the game. So I'm not sure how this computer analyzer works, but uh, we can try to analyze it together guys. So standard moves in the beginning, well, when I teach my students I never tell them to push this pawn. I always say start with a uh, e4 or d4, but okay. So I, I I take the center if they give it to me. Again, quite passive move. Not a big fan of this. <coughs> Excuse me. So the whole point of playing this uh, c3 is uh, uh, to prepare for d4. But okay. So again, a uh, pawn move. This pawn move, what it does, it just prevents bishop and knight from coming to g4 or b4. That's all. Well, also in a late game, it's prophylactical move. Once you castle and your king is over here, you can just hide it. So you avoid all the back rank checkmates that sometimes can happen. But as, as far, that's it, I think. So, see, all this preparation for uh, d4 and they play d3. Knight out, knight out. Well, okay, yeah, see this and that move. So, what's that? a3 and uh, c3 squares for the knight. He just takes them away. Okay, well, the best square for the knight would be c3. Uh, and they just took it straight away in the first move. So, knight has to go to d2. And uh, now they played c4. You know, this is waste of tempo because they could have just done all those moves and then. Boom, in one go, c4. Because c3, c4 does absolutely nothing. If I'm wrong, of course, and there is someone really high rated, please feel free to comment and tell me that uh, maybe that move does something. But as far as I can see, it doesn't. So blocking the center now, making a pocket for my bishop. Also, I'm not allowing the knight jump in. So standard moves. Well, I don't really like this knight move, knight back. 
I'm not a big fan of moving my pieces backwards. I like to go front, you know. Let's say instead of this, I don't know, maybe they could just start to open, put the bishop out. Right now it's uh, it would be in a brick wall, but uh, looking in a brick wall, but uh, with the time they could just, you know, open up like so. And also, let's go back a little bit. I'm not a big fan of uh, a g4 because uh, I think they should just castle. <coughs> And if they castle, I just finish my development and castle as well. Since they didn't castle. Also, okay, they wasted one, two, three moves with the knight. And uh, with one move, I just restrict that knight completely. Right? But uh, later on, I realized my bishop is doing nothing. That knight is a little bit better piece, so I might as well just swap them now. Because I, I, I wasted the tempo. It didn't hurt me much because they wasted the tempo over here and I'm also playing black pieces and having a really nice development now. So I decided uh, to waste the tempo just to trade the bishop for knight because the bishop was really dead in the corner. Now immediately I felt a little bit better. Of course they have uh, now this uh, strong pawn but uh, my idea is to block it. As later in the game we saw uh, that uh, wasn't really necessary. And here I, I thought I blundered the pawn, and so they did. So they take my pawn, and as they saw it, I take it back since I gotta save my queen, right? It's under attack from knight, and they just get my knight. But they didn't see that I have another move here with a check, and then pick up this guy with a hit on the queen, and then this guy. So they missed all this uh, combination because right now the bishop is protecting the pawn, so. If they take and I take back, they don't see this move because they still think the bishop is protecting this guy. But then they miss that they have to take the knight, right? So the pawn on a d3 is undefended. So we went down this line, check, king moves. I take this pawn. I'm not sure if, yeah, I think it's the best here. So they move the queen. I didn't really understand this move because they, they could have just defended this guy. And I think even trapping my knight was an option. Let's just, for sake of example, go here with the queen. What can I do? How can I save my knight? Yeah. Right? So basically, my move wasn't that good. Their move was even worse. They didn't see my not so good move. Alright, so taking the third pawn. And also I was hitting the bishop, so they moved the bishop. Now that bishop had to stay on uh, some of these squares to protect uh, d2. Since if I jump in d2, it's a fork, king and a queen, so queen will be gone. So I put my queen in, preparing for some discoveries. Um, one would be here, but then they just block. And the, the winning discovery, I think, would be this, so double check. So king has to move and queen is gone. Alright, so they avoided discovery. I uh, keep being annoying with my knight for hitting the queen. They move away. And I prepare another discovery. So note that the uh, only discovery that works is here. Since the bishop is undefended if knight goes anywhere else, right? So from here knight defends bishop. So they... Okay, they, finally they connect the rooks. I should do that as well, but this guy is kind of loose. So right now knight is defending. So discovery, block, and free pawn. Again, preparing for another discovery. <laughs> so this was stupid. I don't know what, what they were thinking, but okay. And uh, here, it's a... Uh, sort of sacrifice let's say i take it back they get the queen in and i don't know what they were planning again but uh, i didn't take back i think it's a mistake i should take back uh, i just played rook up i pinned the bishop so maybe it's not that big of a mistake because pinned pieces cannot move so that means it's still just fine i can take it back now anytime also 
uh, before I pin this guy, it's a not absolute pin, it's relative pin, that means a bishop can le legally move, so I may make sure before I pin it, that uh, this guy is on a light square, so they don't move it with a check somewhere, so let's say if it would happen, I would take the piece or whatever, they would just take my rook, so this guy cannot go anywhere with a check, that means it's a safe pin. So they try to defend it, takes, takes, castle, so finally I, ca I can castle because this guy's defended, as you can see, they push, I decided to go with a little Czechoruski, let's move on, so now the discovery, note that they cannot take this guy just yet because of the bishop, so they come with the check, I go away, I'm quite happy they got off this line, so this pawn is safe now. Those guys are really scary, by the way. So they attack my knight. And uh, I decided to defend my knight with the attack. So what they gotta do now, uh, just hop back somewhere. So I would take, they would take, and then I, I would just, you know, get a boom. Or I can just go ahead and do it immediately. So let's see. After check I move, they move, so in this case I could just take the rook with a check, hop up, another check, I think it's actually a checkmate, oh no, okay, well they can block it. Let's see, if queen takes with a check, king comes up, there's no other option, so queen blocks all here, knight covers these guys, also pawn. So if the rook check here, it's boom, it lights out, right? Oh, he can he can give up a queen before he loses. Yeah, because I would take it with a check, king takes back, okay, pawn takes back. And then I, either I checkmate or take the other rook, so it's terrible for them. And uh, so basically this fork wasn't the, the one that made them resign. They just saw that the, this move kills the game. Alright guys, I hope you found this video instructional and uh, I tried to be as calm as possible even if it's uh, really nice weather outside, I'm sitting in here because I love the game, I love making videos and uh, I do hope you're enjoying it. So thank you all for watching and see you next time.